First review of 2022, baby. Let's get right to it. The 355 review. Let's get right to it, guys. Action! What's going on, Alamo City Movie Talk fans? I'm Ryan D, a killer Ryan 680. I'm Angela at that Caledy Angela. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Movie Talk for movie fans, guys. You bring the movie world right into your ears, device. Thank you for making us a part of your day. Let's get right to it. First review of 2022. How excited are you, Angela? I'm really excited. Um I mean, this year we've kicked it off and not been that great so far. So yeah, I'm we kicked it off with a positive COVID <laughs> test, guys. So yeah, we had COVID for a little bit. That's why we're pushing out these reviews a lot because I'm, I'm stuck at home. Quarantining at Quarantining, home. of course, you know. Uh, I, I work from home, so, yeah, so no difference to me. I still work. Yeah, yeah, so which sucks, but it's like I've been able to watch a lot of movies. We, we've both been able to watch a lot of movies and be able to push out more content. So it sucks. Let's get right to it, guys. This is our review of the 355. Um, it's it's kind of hard because it's like, uh, okay, so first off, I told Angela about this review, right? I was like, hey, we watch watched this the trailer. We watched the trailer. We've yeah. seen the trailer in the past. And she was like, oh, yeah, I'm down, right? Because the cast and everything, Jessica Chastain, we get a not, we, we get a amazing casting here. Great Neonga great Cruz. talent. Lupita uh, Neongo. Neongo and then Deanna Crane, uh, Kruger and then also Penelope Cruz, which is funny because it's like... At first, I kind of didn't recognize her, and then I was just like, how do you not recognize her? How do you, like, how you not recognize her? I'm she's sorry. iconic. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. She's classic. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just, yeah, I lost I lost track of it there, right? So anyways, but yeah, let's let's start off with this weird view. When a top secret weapon falls into mercenary hands, a wild card CIA agent joins forces with three international agents on a lethal mission to, revo uh, to retrieve it while staying a step ahead on a mysterious woman who's tracking their every move. So this description kind of is... It's is, a lot going on. It's a lot. It's a lot. So reading off that description, I already was like, oh, God, how 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 is this movie going to intertwine? How is it really going to develop here? In the opening scene, we get a lot of violence in this opening scene here, but it, you kind of get lost in it because it's like not... For me, personal-wise, it just it felt like it wasn't well-directed, which is crazy because this is directed by Simon Kinberg, um, which is which produced Logan. He's produced a Fantastic Four. He's done, you know, X-Men Days of Future Past. Producer, right? Producer-wise. And, you know, for him to take the order the direct, uh, to direct this movie, it felt, you know, the idea came about was probably good, right? The idea of this, this talent in here is way huge talent here. And for me... It wasn't necessarily the talent was the issue. For me, it was the story. What did you think, Angela, of this? Um, so seeing the trailer, I got excited because, again, yeah. mm -hmm. I love the, most of the cast. They're yeah. great. Big names we, we were familiar with. They're yeah, all definitely. exceptionally talented in, in their own right. Um, I love, like, the whole concept of, like, a female team that's badass mm -hmm. or spies. Uh, but going into it... I, like you said in the beginning, there's it starts off right away with violence. I feel like the beginning in general was very rushed. They're trying to push this storyline. Mm. Um, and for me, it was a little strange how quick they're trying to make this. Yeah. And develop the characters, develop what was going on. Um, it was definitely real fast-paced. And, and and not in a good way, though, because it kind of did like give too you much, room to grow. Too much, at, yeah. too much all at once. Um, like they're trying to cram as much story as they could in the first, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to kind of get yeah. that out of the way and get to the action it, for it, later. It, it, it kind of felt like they were trying to make you care about these characters so quickly. And it's like, okay. And then and then a, a significant moment happens in this movie. We're not going to mention no spoilers, of course. A significant moment happens and it's like, okay. Like you, you, it kind of feels like, I mean, it, for me, it just, I didn't care. I was just like, okay, let's go um, on. Let's I, move on. It's like, yeah. and this runtime was two hours and four minutes. I'm yeah. curious to see what the actual rough cut what, of it was because it's like, dude, yeah. this movie was already two hours and four minutes. It was dragging. There was a lot of dull moments in here. I hate to say it because, again, I'll say it again throughout this whole movie review is that the talent in here was very amazing, great talent in here. But it wasn't talent. It was just the, the story issue for me. Um, For me, too. I feel like maybe they didn't have a lot of great on-screen chemistry. Like, yeah. meshed together very well as far as, like, their characters. Um, All of them in their own are, like, exceptional. Yeah. Like, Lu Lupita Nyong'o, she's exceptional. We've seen her do, like, 12 Years a Slave. Mm. You know, we've seen her in, like, uh, Black Panther. So many mm. places that, like, roles. Jessica Chastain, too. And even Penelope Cruz, she's iconic. She's, she's been doing this for a long time. Yeah. <clears throat> I just... It was so disappointing to see 
that they weren't that great on screen together, in my yeah. opinion. Um, and it felt awkward at times. It, it felt awkward at times. And you kind of feel it. Forced, too much overacted. I don't know. Yeah. I, it wasn't my favorite, which was so disappointing because I really wanted like an all-star, badass female <laughs> crew. And they all are badass in their own rights. Yeah. But just in this film, in this character, this this role, world, the roles, oh, I didn't love it as much I, as i thought i would same here it's just the connection the, the character connection to the character development we didn't see any of it really you kind of get lost in this movie because it's like what like what's the main objective i feel like the director was just misinterpreting everything and mis miscommunicating with his actress actresses and his talent because you just feel you feel kind of it just doesn't grow on you as you thought you you would and you want because of the cast and everything. Right off the bat, though, I mean, you just before before you know we'll, before we even watched the trailer, I was like, the cast seems great. That's what got us more intrigued. And so we, we also in here with Sebastian Stan, which let's be honest though, his his character could have been played by anybody. So I thought that at first, yeah. you know, we saw him, you know, a little bit, you know, yeah, I, I, I we saw him. A little bit more in screen time afterwards. I was like, okay, love Sebastian Stan. He's a great actor. Um, but I, there were parts of his role that, like you say, I felt like could have been played by somebody else instead yeah. of this like A list actor who's been in like a million Marvel movies. Not, not even, not even that though. That that's the thing. It's not even just. I could, it could have just been played by a better. It doesn't even have to be an A list actor. It could have just been played by somebody more, uh, more uh, sinister. In that sense, and more with I a mean, with a mean look, and and yeah. for me as a, for me, uh, uh, without spoiling it too much, you know, just it just it his the part the part that he played in this movie was not good. It was not good as far as like the perfect role for him, I guess you could say. I'll um, say that. I just feel like a lot of the plot in general was predictable. Yeah. Um, so when you, you got that, you <laughs> when, got that right. When the big reveal came, um, it didn't shock me, and I don't think it's a part on him. It I was, think it's just it was very the th way this, it was written. This is the way. This is the one of those movies where like you get so annoyed because it's like I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, and it, and it, and it, and here's the thing: it's like tries to do a it tries to do a twist, but it fails miserably. Uh, and I'll say I that mean, I mean, there sorry, was a yeah, couple. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Um, yeah, uh, but I'll say this story not strong enough for for the for the great talent in here. I'll say that. I but, would I would agree with yeah. you because it mm, not yeah. to say it's a waste of talent, but I really feel like I don't want to say it's a waste of talent, but um, I just feel like these actors and actresses are so exceptional and better than this. Yeah, they could do so much better than this bring oh, so definitely. much so much more to the roles and again i don't think it's on them i think it's just maybe the way it was written yeah um not my favorite performance from them um definitely not my favorite. but again still <laughs> i still love every yeah. single one of the, the, the stunts were great. great though the stunts were great the action sequences they were really good i enjoyed the action sequences here the gunfire the the fight scenes were really good jessica chastain did a phenomenal job and a fun fact that she actually got hit um really bad on this the stunt mm. gone bad so the, that's that's crazy. So she took a hit. She took a hit for some for for the movies technically. She uh, got injured. Yeah, she got injured a little bit. So that's that's crazy, right? It, and let's go to ratings, Angela. What do you give this rating? One out of ten. Ten being the highest. Um, oh, the cries a lot. So I'm gonna give this. I, I hate to do it. I I'm gonna give this a solid two. Um, a two out of ten. One of my lowest rating reviews. It just. For me, it just didn't it didn't synchronize right. I just didn't like the tone of this movie. I didn't like the way this film really developed okay. in the climax of the moment. It was very predictable. So much great talent in here that really didn't as not a strong enough story. But yeah, I would probably give it a solid four because I enjoyed I, again. I enjoyed seeing the cast. I love I love yeah. them. They're great. Um, it wasn't like a complete train wreck for me. I just didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would, as much as yeah. I wanted to. I still think, like you say, the action was great. I think it's mm. pretty generally, I think everyone's going to pretty much enjoy that type yeah. of like those movies. I think it's going to be, you know, a popcorn movie. Um, but yeah, I, I would say a solid four in my opinion. Okay. Only because of the cast. I mean, if this was people I didn't know and they were acting maybe for the first time. I probably would have gave it like a I, one. I probably or... wouldn't have, but um, I really enjoyed seeing the cast in, in yeah. here. 
All right. All right, guys. If you haven't already, obviously, Alamo City Movie Talk does not recommend this movie, guys. But, hey, if you like Jessica Chastain and you like the whole concept of it, of the spies and the action sequences, give it a try, guys. We do still recommend everyone gives it a try because all films are a work of art. And let us, on com let us know in the comments down below. Maybe you enjoyed this movie. Let us know. Maybe you thought of the same thing. It wasn't as good. Maybe you, you're thinking, like, it's not as terrible as I make it out to be. Put on comments down below as well, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button. As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. You can Ryan 680. I'm Angela the Hell at the end. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. Catch you later. Stay safe, San Antonio. Peace.